welcome back to True Life TV. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Today's video will be about Gagandeep Singh. Gagandeep Singh seemed to have the entire world at his disposal in 2010. He was one of the founding members of the British Sikh Student Federation and managed his own satellite TV station at the young age of 21. But his obsession with Mandil Mahil, a medical student, would lead to his terrible death at the hands of another of our admirers. Gagandeep from Bexley in South East London was killed in an intricate honey trap created by the woman with whom he had a tortured obsession. Tragically, it was his family's second death in only a few years. His father, Saranjit, was killed in India just 18 months before his death. Gagandeep had taken over his father's packaging business and even started his own Sikh television station. His mum, Tejinda, said he had done so much. I had no idea a 21-year-old could accomplish so much. I'm in amazement of how much he accomplished. And also adding that there isn't a day that goes by that her and her family don't still think about him. Despite his enormous accomplishment at such an early age, Gagandeep was smitten by Mahil. Mahil didn't want to start a relationship with Gagandeep, even though she appreciated his company. However, one night in two August 2010, Gagandeep went too far with his friendship, which proved to be a catastrophic mistake. Gagandeep was allowed to remain at Mahil's flat in Brighton, but she was sexually attacked by him. Luckily, she was able to fight him off, but he was horrified by what he had done and he was sobbing and apologising the whole way. He subsequently ran away from her house and sent apologies for months after the assault. Understandably, Mahil couldn't forget or forgive what had happened, but regrettably the 20-year-old could not contain her emotions. She informed Harinder Shoka. Shoka was not only a close friend of Gagandeep's, but she was also smitten with Mihil. For the previous five years, Gagandeep and Shoka had been practically inseparable. Shoka even celebrated Gagandeep's 21st birthday at his family home. But he was enraged by hearing what had happened with Mihil, and the two quickly plotted how they could avenge him. Mihil alleged that Shoka would only meet with Gagandeep to only give him a slap, to teach him a lesson almost. What transpired though was far more sinister. Gagandeep had spent months trying to avoid speaking with Mihil after his act. She then randomly wanted to talk to him out of the blue. Gagandeep seemed eager and he promptly agreed. However, he did have concerns about Mihil's motivations for wanting to renew their friendship. He sent her a chilling message that said, Can we talk civil or do you simply want me dead? It would prove to be prophetic as Gagandeep was assassinated in the most heinous ways only a few hours later. On the 25th of February 2010, he drove to Mihil's house in his sister's Mercedes. Gagandeep had brought a bouquet of flowers and a teddy bear to the woman with whom he intended to renew his new friendship. The magnitude of the honey trap was apparent as soon as he arrived at Mihil's flat. Shoka was waiting for him, and as soon as he walked through the front door, he unleashed a violent attack. Mahil said in court that she fled the room as soon as Shoka began hating Gagandeep as she had not anticipated the attack to be so savage. Gagandeep was badly beaten and covered in linen before being thrown into the boots of his sister's Mercedes. Shoka and friend Darren Peters, who was also at the property, drove him to Blackheath in South East London. They then proceeded to douse the car with petrol and set it on fire. It has now been revealed that Gagandeep was actually alive at the time of this happening. During the murder trial, the jury did not take mercy with Mihil's claims that she was also a victim. She was convicted of causing grievous bodily harm and was jailed for six years. Now, my thoughts on this story are quite complex. Because I believe that Gagandeep was also not an angel in this story, however, no one deserves to be murdered, and number two, no one deserves to be murdered in such a way as he was. I believe that if what Mahil was saying is true and they were only planning to just give him a beating, and that quickly got out of hand, then I have some sort of sympathy with her, but I have no sympathy for the two attackers, Shoka and Peter. However, 
my sympathy for Mahil would would could be changed by the fact that she was apparently married shortly after the case um, in the same place that where Gagandeep was actually killed and I don't know what that's all about but it doesn't sound great hearing it from my perspective as someone from out, as an outsider this story is quite close to me as well because I live quite near to where this happened and it just shows that this stuff can just happen on your doorstep this is another story I never actually saw on the mainstream media and for its severity, I believe it definitely should have been on mainstream media, 100%. And people should have almost got to learn about how these honey traps can actually get people killed and how subsequently a whole family can be affected. But yeah, I believe, to to conclude, I believe that Shoka and Peter deserve no sympathy. I have sympathy for Gagan Deep as even though he did rape Mihil, no one can die like that and we definitely do not wish that on anyone so for that cause I would say rest in peace to Gagandeep and I hope nothing like this ever happens again